This presentation is on advice for charitable giving. We don't think of charity in relationship to fraud, but there is fraud in charitable giving, and I want you to learn a little bit about that. The best information that I found, and there are many, many wonderful places to look, but the Better Business Bureau is um, one that is easy um, to navigate and to find out about charities and what they do. So you have to research before you give a dime. That's my comment to everybody. Many charities receive one-third of their annual donations during the holiday season. And sometimes the names of organizations will sound alike, but their purpose and what you're supporting is very different than what you think it is. This um, really interests me, and I encourage you um, today, just thinking about the holidays, it's a time of good-heartedness. We want to give. It's the end of the year. We can get a tax uh, break if the taxes stay the same. And um, on, our, on our charitable giving, it's really important for you to know where that money goes. So unless you know the, the, uh, the um, charity that you're providing these resources to, you need to research. So on television, you see programs for helping with relief. You see programs for helping with hurricane relief. You see the saddest dogs I've ever seen in my life that make me want to go through the screen and get the dog and children. Um, not all of those. Some of them are very reputable, but not all. And what makes a charity not reputable? How do they even um, gauge them? And there are many gauges um, that they use, many different benchmarks. But the most interesting one is, does most of the money go to the administrators and only a minuscule or a tiny amount goes to the actual charity itself or the recipient of the money that you're giving? So it, it's important to take time and uh, to learn to how to do this. You should never feel pressured. If you feel that you've gotten a phone call from a charity that you're not familiar with, don't give. Uh, especially, especially if they're pressuring you. And they are good at this. They are very good at making you feel like this is the only time, now's the time, why not give now, don't put it off, you'll forget. They're, uh, they're excellent at doing this. I wish I had a recording of some of these that I've listened to on my own phone. But one of the things that you can do is ask them to send you something in writing that you will respond to. I do that every time and I have never received anything. When you do give to a charitable um, entity, it's really important to use a credit card and a check as a backup. If it's a scam, you can stop the payment. Um, other forms of giving, you cannot, so be very careful. And I know people are afraid to use their credit cards, but you have a limit on um, how much you can be defrauded and what they'll give you back. And you should talk to your bank about this as well. How do you stop a check and how soon do you have to do it? So I tell people you have to check your bank and your credit card statement monthly because there is a time limit. So if you see it six months from now, it may not be valid that you can get your money back. So stay on top of that. And I'm not here to promote the Better Business Bureau, but their giving is called uh, give.org. That's all you have to put into your computer is give.org. And uh, it's free. And uh, they share with you their research on whether the organization is using the money wisely. And they have all sorts of graphs, and you can go as deep into this as you want based on the amount of money you're giving. And uh, for me, I may not give a lot, but what I do give, I want to have it make a difference. If you decide to donate, do not give your credit card or check information over the phone. Ask the organization again to send you something in the mail. You can call any organization and ask you to send them an envelope and something about their organization and then put it into, um, into the mail to send. Don't make these decisions over the phone. People sell your information. They sell your credit card numbers. They sell all the information you give it to another entity and you'll be getting more phone calls and more phone calls. Make sure that your gift matters, especially at this holiday time. 
um, all of us, um, and I, I know that there are some people that are very wealthy, but most of us are struggling uh, to make sure that we have enough money to take us to the end of our time and not be a burden on our families. And yet we still want to share what we have with others. And even the very wealthy spend a lot of time and even have um, people who work for them to make sure that where they're giving their money matters. So make sure and know thank you for giving.